one of a kind girl. Yeah, realistically, though, I gave this album a zero. I would probably up that score to about a five. Um, there, He really is one of a kind. Like, he isn't lying. I think that's why it's grown on me. He's one of a kind. Okay? There really is nobody doing anything as bad as this. And it's stuck with me. That, to me, is not a zero, all right? I enjoy this, like, I don't know. Yeah, it's a generational experience. Like, I'll put it like this. I feel like with Cinna Volume 1, it's not nearly as unlikable as, like, other shit that I've given a zero. You know what I mean? Um, That's probably my biggest jump in score. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty big jump. All right, you guys, Harbor Century, excited to jump into this, but also at the same time, heard most of these songs, so I don't know. I, I do wish that they didn't release as many singles. First song, Magic Death Sea Nemesis. It's worth mentioning again the image for this song might as well keep it up on screen i think this is a very interesting picture for it my favorite genre of music angry british man singing over blaring sax and guitars so after hearing all the singles again it made me revisit um black midi hellfire for the hell of it um and i feel like honestly both these bands bring something to the table you know what i mean i don't think like one is like severely outclassing the other which i think for you know like unix is like a huge like compliment that i can give them um because something like heroin king i feel like is so distinctly them and so interesting but I guess you gotta wait till the very end. I don't know. It kind of came off more like a centerpiece. I'm kind of weirded that it weirded out that it does end off the whole album. But anyway. Latch to his mother's side. Oh, madam, your Cute child turns. I might check that out. A hero in the harbor century. Take my arm and come with me. She nodded yes, he took my hands, future washed out in the sand. And the details me like a crippled dog onto my vessel's deck. His eyes look back with a stupid stare. His last 
Space Ashes, I swear to God, if you make one more 303 reference, you're done. The wake of the beast as long as sailors lies. Looks of fear break in idiot eyes. Eat your pomegranates and be quiet. He can hear you. Something about all shake like a dog who has fucking head kicked in. I pass him off the fucking boat. I'm sailing to wait to the boat. The fly is like the bows. Sinking shadow. Swallow the soul like a fly in the dice barrel. We'll find what Jesus lands. Call it off the side. Immediately transitions into Padded Dragon. Um, before we get into this, I will say that even though I've heard this song, um, starting off the album, it's kind of cool. I like that this is a lot of setup in the beginning. There is a vibe to it. And when it does become chaotic, there is something that really does feel chilling, especially if you're following along with the story. It rewards people who are following along with the story, which I like a lot. Um, it's extremely satisfying. And a lot of people are saying like, oh, black country rehashed roads or whatever. Yeah, no, there's very similar things going on with other bands in this style. But I think the story that it's telling is extremely interesting, worth paying attention to. And I think people underestimate just how hard it is to stylistically nail these bands like Black Country New Road and Black Midi is what they're doing is just so musically dense that even just saying, oh, it's just a rip off of this. It's like, yeah, do you know how fucking hard it would be to rip off Black Midi if you had no talent? You know what I mean? And I think that that's why I'm kind of not really caring that much because it is at that level of execution. For um, yeah, it's a great start. Next song, Pat a Dragon. <laughs>
eyes of Amara. This tree looked like thou, but a fungus ridden eye and tired cut. Spent too much spawn, hangs off in space between the lens of a jester that cannot. Well, it feels like um, the first song is just kind of warming things up. Had a Dragon, in my opinion, was the best single since um, Heroin King. I think front to back, it sounds amazing and never is there a dull moment. Um, I love reading along with the lyrics here. It's so intertwined lyrically with sound and the the whole thing is just so large in the life for me. Um, I think it's fantastic. And again, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to keep reiterating this because I think it's worth mentioning. Yeah, Black Midi. But, nine. I love what they're doing regardless. And again, for a band like this to just sort of jump into stuff like this is just... I mean, they're, they're, they're nailing it. Like, they're completely nailing it. Um, amazing. Estuary of Dream. I, I believe that this was another single. I think the first four were singles. A hellsling for slaughter, a lamb for the altar, all the streets, rituals of luxury. I took you, I fed you. Your space ashes. The dark and the Goodbye. The basement estuary. The world turns. You've grown now. Slip through my hands and back to the channel.
Makes us different from the other theater course songs they send in. Theo says, what makes us different from the other theater course songs uh, that I send in? I'm just going to say that if you are seeing a lot of this in the stuff that you send me, then what that means is maybe there is something I'm missing from the request that you do send in. And maybe just the fact that I attach more to this sound, which I feel like is... I don't know. It's it's more tuned to to what I enjoy, you know. Hopefully, at some point, maybe down the road, I'd be able to tap into the things that you see in this, but that are more tuned to you. You know what I mean? So I'm not even not even gonna answer the question. I I with anything but a hopeful. Well, maybe you're you're on to something. You know. What have you done? What could I do? A death The song is beautiful. Works really well as the third track, too. I look like Lingua Ignota. There's an aesthetic tie into everything. Someone said it's like the seashore, you know what I mean? The pier. Like everything has this feeling of like the ocean, you know? Everything. River weeps, liars creep, factories leak, and he's the last of the swimmers rolling in cyanide. River weeps, liars creep, factories leak. Stop what you're doing, Fantano is live. Hey! I bring stuff, I bring some valuable things to the table, okay? Right, Tina? Uh, she's giving me a look I don't want to talk about. No. This is an amazing song. Like, for me, in a nutshell, it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but as a third track after so much chaos, to have something that is just this focused this beautiful um again i say this a lot but it gives the chaos meaning it's so important to have songs like this and to me it just really reads as the next chapter allowing it to really go anywhere from this point i'd give it a light nine stellar i mean that it's fantastic uh, next song siren which is the last single here Check ceremony I 
dust and sand and mud and soaked over mildew. Sometimes I love the ocean is so bad, but it isn't a tan. My channel banner is not a lie. I'm doing an additional stream today. So, man, it's it's funny because at this point in the album, even though it is just the singles, them all put together in this sort of sequence and whatnot, it's amazing how well this is working as an experience right now, really building this world of this Harbor Century. There's something just so... Like, like it feels like a fantasy, you know what I mean? But I can just envision the whole thing. I love the... Again, the pictures for this album are so helpful for that. Um, the songs are wild, but I, I feel like, again, aesthetically, they make sense. When they escalate, it feels bold and interesting. I, I think what I'm trying to say is I'm amazed that Unix is operating at a level where I really do believe that they can be contemporaries with artists like Black Midi. I feel like what I'm hearing is different enough. I don't honestly say aesthetically reminding me of something like in the airplane over the sea, 
more than it does say like a hellfire you know what i mean um but regardless i love how crazy these songs get even though i've heard them before i'm still surprised by many of the moments and the lyric like the lyrical boldness i feel like also helps it almost guarantee that it's gonna stand the test of time um yeah this is great i love this surprisingly enjoying this a lot more as a part of the album, especially with these three before it. Um, next is a song that I haven't heard before. Uh, this is Magnificent Stallion. said the title he's been saying the title a lot Magnificent uh, Stallion is an absolutely beautiful track where I think aesthetically it's tighter than most of the tracks here. Um, wish it was longer, wish it developed into something more, but um, that's about it in terms of complaints. I think that it's honestly sonic perfection. Give it a strong eight. It sounds great. It sounds absolutely fantastic. But I also can understand why it wasn't a single. I don't think there's enough meat on the bone. Gnome and Fortune. Oh. Dude, 
This is another thing. You know how hard it is to get the mixing this good <laughs> on something like this that's just this dense? You know, like, this is so skillful, dude. Holy shit. Another reason I'm advocating for this band is, like, part of me is nervous because I love this. And I know that if I start, like, if if I start promoting this shit, I'm like, all right, guys, go check this out. You know people are just going to hate on this for the hell of it because it's long-winded. It's like, why would I listen to this so I could just listen to Black Midi? You know, but I genuinely think that these guys are offering a, a totally unique experience for people who are a fan of that style, who want something that is similar, but just different enough, you know? And I feel like that's what Unix is giving here. I, I feel like this is distinctly them, um, though borrowing from other acts. Anyways, Nomad Fortune. <laughs> Last track is 17 minutes. Yeah, it's a it's a near perfect song. It's so good. Terrible today. It's been good vibes. Colorful gaze, my opulent fitment. Tell me, are you still entranced? She's so good. I'll let it move transition.
thank you. Thank you for the gift, dude. Ooh, ha. Ah, I don't want to interrupt the song. Thank you. This is a really immersive track. Anyways, I thought that was great. Um, aesthetically amazing, works well in the album. I'd give it like an 8 plus, 9 minus. Bird Angel Dynasty. Pause here. Um, once again, I feel like the calm moments allow for some ridiculous bullshit like this, and I still take it seriously. Envy is green, purple like scarf, toes that have sat in a puddle too long at my gate. I do kissy faces to a wheel of ice. Turn my face to the strumpets that paste the plus 
Disgrace the fellas saying, you boys, to a gaping wound. Feathers don't burn, peacocks don't spell. I have been turned to a chariot drawn by the bell back. Touch in my flayed eyes, the beat cut my tongue as I cried the light. I signed the soul with a quill from a thought. Shrimming colors plague my dreams at night, and I'll never be a man again. Give a man a fish and a leap for a day. Give a man a spark and a liver pain for the touch of all. Only land of war games and parades of blood is a shaft and watch me kiss. Black relatives and the wrinkled eyes that flood from all my You never said I'd be mighty because of me. But get to fly and revel in Archangel Dynasty. Oh, the That's insane. That song is so insane. I mean, in a nutshell, I don't know. Like, maybe it wasn't just as crazy when I was hearing it alone, but like, in this album, I mean, wow, that's a what the fuck moment. Even the end honestly reminds me of Death Grips a lot. Um, psychotic. I eight low nine. That's exactly where I fall with it. I mean, again, I've heard these songs, these singles multiple times now at this point, and I feel like I'm kind of honing in on how I feel about this whole project. And yeah, this is really great, like surprisingly great. I'm amazed at how well this comes together in the one way I needed it to. I don't care about... Here's the thing. When you release this many singles, you know what I mean? The album experience, it scares the hell out of me that it's not going to work together. But the fact that hearing everything again in this order is creating something for me is wild. I mean, there is so much care to the structure, the sound, and the cohesion of this project. It's, it's insane. We, we have two songs left, and this is the last song that I haven't heard from the album. It's called Hierophant. Every title drop loses it one point one point on the score.
Kind of just serves as an extra intro to the already 17 and a half minute. Our event is kind of a compact version of some of the more insane moments on this album, but I think it works quite well. Not a favorite, but still very good. Smiley ball. Let's see how it ends. Well, I mean, I know how it ends, but I'm going to let it transition into the final song, Heroin King. I ain't. It's easy to follow along with the words. Feels much more haunting. It really does. Tell me the most awful lies
standing room only, not off smile the clanging metal sound. A statue of a man eating dragon scares the children. A man can eat a dragon and his points will scare the women. This car is an aquarium. Rotting sea creatures make what? their graves. Placed there by messengers, angels and sirens. Tiger's Nest, the secrets to wealth creation, how to dominate all power situations, with faith healing, rent seeking, lotus eating, enlightenment and new clothes, that's a brave little militia, killing not for honor, for chemicals and minerals, for something else, for something to do, for new robes, for 
priests and hierophants to build towers somewhere. For the rent seekers to house the fortune tellers. For fortune tellers to remove the century long hex ruining the luck of the night. Who years ago learned the way. The secrets, the wealth of creation. The children by the concrete, you by the train wheel, under the slowest train to purgatory. Running adjacent to the dirtiest room I've ever seen. His steps are purpose, he thinks, unlike some. Multi levels, lager gardens, rose garden stench, golden dragon temple. Sit still and try not to think about what you're missing out on. The delights of the old country beckoned, but there was no ice age here. So we are a richer, all the mouth is stuffed with lotuses. Once you would be beheaded for that, the old scrub remnants of a frontier make way for another tower and another fort. Where the brave militia should have killed the degenerate old legend left stalks in the remaining hill. I didn't finish! I didn't start! Somewhere to pull my star! I moved the poor guy! I love the lights, I love the city, I love the century, I love the angel, I love the gold! I love the jade, I love the horses, I love the chance, I love the VIP! I love the one just telling time to the women! I love the veneration! I love the base! Look, the behind friendly fences with cameras that pull everything anywhere! Auspicious signs are telling me it's all okay! Everything I've done has been right so far! 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 The fact this was the first single for the album is insane to me still. This is what they prepared you for, you know? Or prepared you with. as a hole in the side of a mountain, but at least you have an enchanting way of conducting business. Enchanting way. Enchanting way of being thrown overboard With pockets filled with birds An enchanting way of meeting old men An enchanting way See, what you did was confuse a nice guy for a eunuch. snuff film at the beach everybody sat down to watch it was a fake but to me it felt real the people I killed weren't real they were just shadows of my world everyone left quickly everyone left quickly he stabbed himself in the stomach 
his entrails fell to the floor for the inspectors to inspect, to prove he wasn't on drugs. Where is the heroin? Where is the food? Where is the milk? Where are the receipts for the half dozen machetes bought from flea markets? Some they run by the fruit roots, some they run by the butchers, some they run by the farmers, some they run by the blue century restaurants, some they run by the clothes cleaners, some they run by the rug and mortar, some they run by the pomegranate orchid, some they run by the rose garden, some they run by the mortician, some they run by the radio station, some they run by the dancing dragon nightclub, some they run by the sleeping dragon gentleman's lounge, some they run by the VIP, some they run by the lucky night casino, some they run by the fishing, some they run by the submarine, some they run by the sea nemesis, some they run by the fish, some they run by the sleep, some they run by the healthy bloom, some they run by the boiled man, some they run by the fear, some they run by the children, some they run by the frog men, some they run by the oxygen tanks, some they run by the nursing home, some they run by the blood, some they run by the brothel, some they run by the importer, some they run by the statue, some they run by the unit, some they run by the executive, some they run by the manure experiment, some they run by the lies, some they run by the master mouth, some they run by the bus cars, some they run by the fossils, some they run by the east asteroids, some they run by the road papers, some they run by the used car salesmen, some they run by the new car salesmen, some they run by the mayor, some they run by his uncle, some they run by his horrible wife, some they run by desire, some they run by that big fucking sign advertising news car, some they run by the horse breeders, some they run by the chief of police, some they run by his mistress, some they run by the pimp, some they run by the hat job, some they run by the weightlifting champion of 1958, some they run by the scientists, some they run by the world fund, some they run by the alpha gum, some they run by the prince of second cousins, some they run by the monks, some they run by the military, some they run by the tribes, some they run by the factory, some they run by the mines. Suddenly run by the hell and death! We'll be run by hell! We'll be run by crime! We'll be run by the seven-day deadly sins! We'll be run by the fucking police! So I think Heroin King is an absolutely stellar track. I don't think it's a 10, but I think it's pretty fantastic. Definitely the biggest moment of this entire album. My personal favorite song here. Um, but what amazes me is the fact that I don't think that it towers over the rest of the project like I was afraid it would. In fact, it kind of does a good job of wrapping up the entire thing and everything that happened before. And yeah, it's like the darkest track here. I give it a nine plus. Um, I love the journey of this. I enjoyed this song a ton when I first heard it in a nutshell, but I'm amazed at how well it kind of works on closing off this project. It's weird though. It isn't just a very like linear, this is exactly what's happening sort of conclusion. It's kind of open-ended and odd and, Again, strange, but so are a lot of moments here. It's one of the reasons why this album feels so otherworldly yet familiar. Um, and I love that about it. Uh, for Unix, I I mean, this is a pretty small band. Like, they don't have a ton of monthly listeners, and I really feel like what they put out with this is stellar. I, I feel like they created a remarkable experience. What I love about this is every song feels necessary to it. Every song adds to that experience. And though they can sometimes fall into patterns that are somewhat predictable, um, I never felt like what I was listening to, though, was pointless. And I love that about it.
there is still so much to explore with this. Not only did I enjoy this a ton, I'm excited to continue listening to it and hopefully getting more out of it. Um, I'd give it a 9 minus overall. I thought it was a fantastic listen. One of the most complete uh, listening experiences of the entire year for me. Uh, something that I feel like was a joy trying to figure out this thing from the moment it started to the moment it ended. While I was afraid that because a lot of these songs were singles that I was already going to feel like I experienced everything this album had to offer, um, I could not be more wrong. Even with these little pieces just adding aesthetically different tie-ins, um, the sequencing is amazing. They have multiple singles make sense now. Why you said they only have 800 listeners? Yeah. Um, that's all for me. Uh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be heading out for the night. That's all I got to offer you. I hope you guys have a good rest of your night, and I will see you tomorrow for the Paid Reaction stream. Peace out, everybody.